that, that then gives me, because of the, the, the spell there, that gives me my knights plus one. So these guys here are now three attack instead of two attack. Well, and I have this this spell here, which uh, is what I, I picked, which is called Transposition, which allows me to switch two of my creatures, uh, uh, two of the uh, characters I have, and uh, draw a scroll. So what I shall do first is I shall move them there, and I shall cast this on these two, and that one. And that should defend this guy here. And also puts in a different decent place there to see you do a little bit of damage uh, uh, on uh. three of uh, Tort's mobs. Now, not as good as I was hoping at this point, but I can live with that. So damage, dead, and dead. Damn. I was actually hoping to do some damage to Totems this turn, but I've s sacrificed that in order to save this Mangonel. Which I think was a good, good sacrifice. Right. Uh, which hasn't left me with a huge deal of options. Okay, so I definitely need to sacrifice for energy. Uh, because I'm I'm running horribly low. So... Uh, it's just a question of what t uh, to get rid of. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice that for energy. And... Just so I can get some things on the board, start summoning things. Alright. And this really, really crappy card. Just so I've got my structures defended. And uh, that's my go. And as you can see there, Tort has done damage to one of my totems. Right, so I have six points of damage. Uh, I have six points of energy. I have a number of creatures. I have this one. And I have this one, which is a spell. And I have this one, which everyone should know by <laughs> now. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to move my friend there. And I will cast this one there. And then I shall cast this one. Where shall I cast this? I cast this one there. And it just does one point of damage. Gives me an extra um, scroll. I can't use it this turn. Uh, but I can sacrifice it for two extra cards. I now have three cards in my hand I can't use. But it gives me some more options next turn. Oh. This is an interesting card. I, I, I do sometimes like it. It, is, it. it can be a nice card. Um, I think I'm going to keep that guy there as a sacrificial creature. Uh, so he, he's going to get killed at some point, but he can do useful stuff for me while he's there. Uh, and he's going to attack this turn as well. So, um, And I didn't sacrifice for energy, so now I can't... <laughs> no, I can't cast that. Uh, I suppose in... No, I'll hang on to it because I want to cast it, so I'll save that for now. Now you can see with me concentrating on this end of the board, Tort is actually starting to do some damage to me up this end. But with a decent strategy, I think we can deal with that. So I still have six points, and I have four cards, I, which means I can quite easily sacrifice one of these for energy, and I think the one I shall sacrifice is this one because I don't really feel any use for it at the moment. So there we go, that gives me now seven points of energy, um, which means I, I, my options are a bit more open. Okay, and that seems to be leading to be a very nice card to be used when um, knights I have attack. But you see, because of this card here, okay, other creatures you control in the same row count as knights. So this one might be a soldier, but it's actually a knight. So what I shall do is I could cast this. And now for the next four turns, my soldier here becomes a knight. So it goes from plus one damage to two damage. And I think what I shall also do is I shall cast this one up here to just pr protect that totem against this attack, which is going to happen fairly soon. 
And at the end of this turn, these two should attack. Uh, I th I, I, I've got a dangerous card here. Um, it turns... Like, it's expensive, so I'm not going to be playing it anytime soon. And I often debate whether it's worth keeping or not. In the right situation, it can be useful, but as you, uh, your viewers can't see it, um, sacrifice all creatures you control. Creatures sacrificed this way are replaced by husks at countdown zero. Now, husks are uh, uh, 3 3 2 creatures. Um, which... That's 3 attack, 3 defense, and 2 yes. countdown. Um, and, and if you have a lot of creatures on the board, uh, turning them all into husks with no count, uh, all ready to attack can sometimes be quite handy. I have won games in that way. But uh, this isn't entirely going how I planned. But I'm still going to do this. Screw it. Um. <laughs> okay, just let me show everyone that one quickly. Maya Curse. There's one point of damage to adjacent creatures at the beginning of each of its turns. So next turn it shall hurt all of these, which is great for me. Right, there you see, it's done one point of damage. It killed my soldier, unfortunately. Now, I thought I'm going to have to do that to get it away from these guys. And I think I can help myself here by... I'm going to move her back. And I'm going to cast this one here. Which, as you can see, is rather slow, but it has a lot of health. So, in there. And it can be a shield for my, my squire here. It's only the gentlemanly thing to do. I, and I and now I'm that. seeing I made a Go massive on. mistake, and I didn't move my unit from out of range of your lover. I hate lovers so much. Wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> and there we go. One more creature gone. Okay, so All right, not going to be as helpful to me as it has previously. Um, I'm, uh, let's see what, So I'm doing something interesting here, and we'll 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 see if it pans out how I think it will next turn. But um, I'm still I'm still struggling a bit for energy. So yeah, I think I'll I think I'll actually sacrifice that for energy at this point. All right, as you can see now, one of my totems is actually getting quite damaged. And I'm probably going to have to look at that particular problem fairly soon. But I don't want to move this guy because this guy. And I've just noticed we've been playing this now for 30 <laughs> minutes or so. So this is probably, unless um, one of us dies fairly soon, it's probably going to be two episodes. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's have a quick look. So, uh, I have that. And I have this guy here. And I have seven energy. And I'm kind of thinking that I could use this on this guy here and that would actually be quite interesting and I think I'm actually going to do that I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of him I'm going to replace him with two cards and that's given me some stuff that possibly that I can use so I'm going to use this card here on him and that gives his countdown now down to zero, which means at the end of this turn, I'm going to do seven points of damage there, which is going to balance things up Ouch. a bit more. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable about that. And I never tried it. These guys don't move. Okay, I won't do that. Um, but I still have this spell here, and I'm running out of time, so I should just do that. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Ouch. 
not liking that on three. But, but that, that thing that I was thinking was going to happen did just play out how I thought it would. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to take the seven damage to my totem. Oh, I'd really like to play that, but I need to sacrifice. Uh... So they combine can do seven damage, which isn't nice, but it's going to be a while before they can. So I'm going to take the risk. And this is something I've had since first turn. <laughs> <laughs> I can almost feel the way you've wanted to play this guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, normally, I don't. Like, if I get her in my hand on first turn, I normally sacrifice her, thinking I'm. it's going to take way too long to get to a energy. I want the space in my hand for other cards. But considering how, how, how well she worked in practice, I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save her and give her a go. Uh, and do I want to move anything? That's the question. Um, I think I'm going to keep everything where it is, so I will end my turn now. Carry on. Right, I've got an idea here. First of all, I'm going to get rid of that card and replace it with two others. Uh, perhaps should have done that for energy, <laughs> but never mind. Um, I'm going to move this one. And then I'm going to move this one. Because this one's no longer adjacent to that one, um, it's not going to do any damage. You remember, this one is cursed. Right, so I've got to keep this uh, this guy here separate from everything You don't else. have to. <laughs> well, I don't have to, no, but it's, it's perfectly optional in my heart, yes. However, I have a second one of these, and I'm going to use that second oh, one of those oh, there. Okay, and as you can see, these are all counted down to zero. Unfortunately, the mangonel has not done much use for me, but the other ones should still be quite yummy. And uh, finally, with my four points, I shall cast this guy here because of the bonus and the quick time and there we go yeah I don't like that <laughs> hmm yeah definitely need to get some creatures out there at least that has more health than, than what I just sacrificed so let's Let's get that down. I'm talking ability as well. Uh, when it ever comes into play. Let me just show that to people. When Lifestealer deals damage, it is healed by two. To what? The question <laughs> is. Um, right. I, I, I don't think it's going to be in my advantage to... to I, I've got a straight gun for his totem here. But I think it's uh, more in my interest to try and take out some of these units. So um, I'm moving that there. Although that is my cursed unit. He's, he's not going to allow it to be in a position to do to for that curse to help me. So rather than give him a unit that can attack... To take it out and I'll put this down just to protect Naru some more. I think. But I do need I I, I really could do with getting a Dominion. Yeah. Your time is up. Why did that unit just die? What 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 did I lose track of? <laughs> Uh, you just attacked it. No, no, uh, my, my... Yeah. Oh, your one, no, I have no idea. I didn't notice, I didn't even oh, notice it died. Oh, I remember, okay. uh, I remember why. I should have moved that unit, because then, ah... Uh... Yeah, the, a quirk of that unit is it takes a po uh, poison damage just before it attacks. Ah. Uh, again, with how I was saying, a lot of the, the cards in this deck seem to hurt themselves more than they hurt other things. Uh, the, the other the other quirk of that card is when it does die, everything in the row becomes poisoned. So what I should have done was poisoned your entire row. But oh well. Right. <laughs> I should move that there. And what I'm thinking here is if I cast this and I do something a bit cheeky here. Yeah. 
This mega now is now attacking. Oh dear. Not happy about that. Not happy about that. And she can't move enough spaces to get out of the way either. But not going to be an issue. <laughs> that, yes, that was rather good for yeah, you. Yeah, really, I'm quite happy it? with that. Yes. Random chances stuck its finger up at me and said, "Yeah." And 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 just 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 to make things worse, I think I'll put that there. Um. Now this guy. To sacrifice for more cards when I might not get two creatures, or to just play him. Oh, the dilemmas. Um, I may regret this, but I'll stick him down. And move back one. That's I keep on reading that as cheesemonger. <laughs> Cursemonger. Yes, Cursemonger. Okay. Right, let me just put that up for a little bit longer so people can read it. When Cursemonger's countdown gets to zero, you may reset its countdown, plus give target unit curse Yes, yeah, so I, I can give one of your units curse mm -hmm. instead of attacking with that card. Yes. But, uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's... that's. I think that's me done, so I'll, I'll actually end the turn for a change. So, my, my plan didn't quite work as planned. <laughs> But that is the way of such things. Right. Uh, that is the way, as you say, of such things. Right. Now, these two are going to probably kill that one at the end of this turn. Which is... um, so I'm perfectly comfortable with that. And what I think I'm going to do is I have eight points and I have these two cards, and I might as well just use these two cards. So let's just pop these two down here and move on. Yeah, that, that, that tends to have... Oh, now this is an interesting card. Um, but I I need two of it to m take any advantage from it. And I ne it needs to be situational. Enchant creature gets plus... Uh, it's called Uneasy Alliance. Enchanted creature gets plus two attack. When it is destroyed, all other creatures with Uneasy Alliance are destroyed. So it buffs a unit. But if what I tend to use it for is to put on enemies... That I uh, and make sure I've got. I can cast it twice, and I put it put it on somebody yes. I know I'm about to destroy, and then enchant a unit that I'm finding really difficult to destroy. But uh, in this case, I think I'm just going to sacrifice it for scrolls because. Yeah, you've got this really evil, malicious streak that I didn't wasn't quite aware of. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Given the right circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> How many closer, little girl? But I, 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 have, I may have chosen poorly there, but we'll see. Um, oh, you chose badly. I've, st I, I've still got some energy left, but not a lot of time, so I'm just going to do this. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Um. I'm going to take a totem at the end of this turn. That is the thing that is important to remember here. And let's see what else we can do. I don't particularly like that card, so I will get rid of it. That gives me two cards, and uh, I can cast either one of them, but not both. So this is this creature here. And I also have this creature here. Uh, this is a big, powerful creature, and it's got a ranged attack, which means it doesn't run forward, it just shoots... Uh, but it, it shoots once every five turns. So the only real use for this one in this circumstance, I think, is armor. And given the choice between the two, I think I will go for armor. So I shall pop him there. And with that said, I end my turn. Oh, I, 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 from the way you talk then. Oh. Oh, my bad. How stupid of me. I forgot that I'd lost the magic effect, so this guy doesn't do five damage. Now he does four. So that totem has survived by one point. Hmm. Oh, yes, and you've got more zombies. How nice of you. I, I, do, I do like my undead. Um. 
Although, although something, something I have uh, always stri uh, like strive to defend is that necromancers don't have to be evil. From my D and D days, I have actually played um, a good aligned necromancer. Yes, I raise the undead, but I I use them for good. <laughs> Their, their lifeless bodies weren't doing anything, and now they're working for God. 